No, clarification. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I, I was listening to my brother, the Deputy Speaker. And let me say that I like what he was saying. And Majority Leader, my good friend, you know, in reality, the order paper belongs to you because you're the Majority Leader. So when we sit here and start lamenting, we are actually lamenting and pointing a finger at you. You know, I would not want to say that you're failing, but other people could conclude that. This house must be respected. When we stood here, Mr. Speaker, and some of us argued, we interpreted Article 153 of the Constitution to say that a cabinet secretary can only appear before a committee of the House. And it's actually, it's a, they are mandated to appear when they are invited to do so. But the judiciary ruled it so it fit that they also appear before plenary. Now that they are here, and that is the reason why we decided to, to be here, because our side of the House had decided not to attend because we did not want to violate the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, the only thing we ought to do now is to look at the provisions of the laws that gives us powers to punish these individuals who fail to appear. Section 19 of our Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act is quite clear that whereas a witness has been invited or someone to appear but fails to appear, there are consequences. So I don't know why we are lamenting here. I think we should just do what we did in the last parliament. In the last parliament, the majority leader was seated here. We censured the cabinet secretary of energy then. And there were consequences that followed. You know, some people, you know, see as if we just come here to talk and talk and talk. But we've got a lot of power. So this power that we have, Mr. Speaker, I want to beseech you to allow this house. And now, since you are the one seated there, you are like the chair of that committee. I think you should be the first one to say that we are now going to apply Section 19 of our Parliamentary Spouse Privileges Act so that these people can be able to respect this house. The other day we were given a credit. They said that uh, we are doing better than the National Assembly. We are doing better than the National Assembly because we are diligent and we know, we know the law, we know our rights, and we know the powers. We are here as ombuds persons of citizens who have sent us here to represent them. So, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to beseech you that we become decisive in our decision-making. We send strong messages. Because, seriously, when I saw the president saying that he's going to now ensure that the cabinet secretaries appear before the floor of the House, when they fail to appear, what does that mean? I don't want to use slang, but it's like they're showing him the middle finger. Utadu. You know, Mr. Speaker, this is, this is something that we need to be very serious about. We have to respect. The Speaker has got to be respected. Even the President has got to be respected. So, Mr. Speaker, I... I think, Honorable Senators, let uh, this debate uh, lie there. I have indicated and advised that the recourse you have and the recourse that this 